Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Deluxe. You guys can call me D4. Today we're going to be talking about all the guns in Red Dead Redemption 2. But before we get started, make sure you hit that like button and also subscribe. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, you definitely got to do so because we're going to have a lot of content that comes out with this game. It's going to be funny moments. We're going to have a lot of info, a lot of facts, a lot of cool things that you may not know about the game and uh, also just for your entertainment. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. All right, guys, let's jump right into the weapons today. Rockstar has confirmed there's going to be 50 plus weapons in this game. And with that being said, there's going to be a lot of new weapons and new customization with the DLCs that come out after the initial launch of the game. We're going to start out with the most deadliest one, and that is your fist. Your fist is going to be the most deadliest weapon that you have. And Rockstar has confirmed that the combat in this game is going to be a lot different from Red Dead Redemption 1. And I'm excited to see if they add stuff like brass knuckles or any little things that might alter the combat in this game so i'm excited about that as well all right guys moving on to the next deadliest weapon of all time and that's going to be the spoon yes we are confirming here right now on this channel if you haven't subscribed to this channel right now now's the time to do so because like never seen before the spoon is the most deadliest weapon beside your hand that you can get your hands on right here so look at this thing this thing is made out of silver platinum you name it you're going to be able to customize your spoon i'm just kidding guys we're really not worried about the spoon but it can get a little ridiculous with all these weapons and uh <laughs> i just want to throw a curveball in there but no i don't i don't think the spoon's going to be you know a weapon but hey who knows it's rockstar it could be i, I have no clue all right, but for real, let's jump into the next one, and that is going to be the hunting knife. The hunting knife is something that you use a lot in Red Dead Redemption 1 and uh, use it in combat most of the time. So when you pull out stuff, your knife is one of the first things you can pull out and really have a go with people. Um, and they're bringing it back, of course. We see a lot of these screenshots with Arthur Morgan and his knife and how bloody it is. I don't know if this game is going to be really, really graphic. It seems like a lot of games are going more towards that graphic side, and you got to believe that it may get a little crazy with them saying that you can skin whole animals and you'll actually get to see the whole thing instead of them changing the angle where you can't really see what's going on there but the hunting knife is going to be a crucial part of the gameplay when it comes to skinning your animal and defending yourself all right guys the next one that we have is the hatchet some people are going to call it the tomahawk inevitably but it is actually a stone hatchet and gta 5 has confirmed this and we're going to be able to throw these things in red dead redemption 2 so i can't wait to kill animals or maybe even take out a couple of bandits as well when it comes to red dead redemption 2 so i'm excited about this one more objects that we can throw the better all right, guys, staying with the throwable theme today, we're going to go with Dynamite, one of my most favorite weapons of all time on Red Dead Redemption 1. They're bringing it back to Red Dead Redemption 2. It's going to have a crucial part in your storyline and also probably your multiplayer. So anytime you can have Dynamite to blow things up, explosives are always fun. Next one, we are throwing it back to Red Dead Revolver with the bow and arrow. The bow and arrow can be used to kill animals and also injure people, but this one is for your stealthy missions that you are going to do in Red Dead Redemption 2, and I'm glad they're bringing it back from Red Dead Revolver because we didn't see it in Red Dead Redemption, but of course, if you're going to have cowboys and Indians, the bow is a crucial part of any storyline and any weaponry whatsoever, but I don't know how far they're going to take this. I don't know if there's going to be explosive arrows or fire arrows. you got to believe there's going to be something with the arrow and bow that you you can do that's a little bit different from just normal bow and arrow but we'll see how it goes but uh, i'm excited about the bow and arrow to bring it back to red dead redemption 2. all right next category that we're going to cover guys is the pistol category and we're going to start off with one of my favorite of all time that we got to see some more details about and that's the volcanic pistol the volcanic pistol it was one of my favorite ones on red dead redemption one and they're bringing it back and that's going to be a common theme that we see here with all the weapons today is that there's going to be a lot of weapons from red dead redemption one that we'll see back in red dead redemption two the volcanic pistol was a fast shooting pistol that i really enjoyed especially on horseback chasing down any enemies of any sort so i'm glad they're bringing that back and you see here we see a catalog listing for the gun which rockstar has released for us and uh, they couldn't go into more detail here i really love it i love the old timey feel and the catalog is going to be ridiculous with all the new guns and new things that we can buy all right, guys, this next one is a throwback weapon. It is the Colt Revolver, a.k.a. the Cattleman Revolver. And this is the gun that you had in Red Dead Redemption 1 where you had to shoot something 50 times just to wound it. 
this is that gun. So this gun, I don't expect to have a lot of high power to it, but uh, we'll see how it works out though. But it is a gun. It's better than throwing rocks at enemies. So the Cataman rifle is making a comeback and you see from screenshots here that it is used multiple times. And I'll be honest, it'll be the first gun that I try to upgrade or get rid of. All right, guys, the next one we're going to cover is a Schofield Revolver. This one looks freaking sweet. We've seen a lot of customization so far from Rockstar with all the different screenshots. And Dutch is holding them right here. And Dutch, this has got to be his favorite revolver of all time. You, you think of this revolver, you think of Dutch. It's pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, I'm excited about this one. Unlike the Colt Revolver, a.k.a. the Cattleman Revolver, this one is actually probably going to do some damage. The next weapon that we cover was an essential part of Red Dead Redemption 1. That is the double action revolver. We see the high roller skin here, and this thing looks sweet. It almost looks like it's real. That's how much details went into this thing. And as you look on the handle of it and the barrel of it, everything just comes together real nice. It almost looks like it's kind of gold, but it's just the way they engraved it. And the customization on this one is a 10 out of 10. So I'm excited about this one to handle the double action revolver once again in Red Dead Redemption 2. All right, guys, the next section we're going to cover is the rifle section. And again, we have a lot of rifles from Red Dead Redemption 1, but I'm excited that they're bringing some back. But the customization is going to make it feel like there's a lot of brand new weapons in the game as well. There's only so much you can do when the game was set basically 12 years before Red Dead Redemption 1. So there's only so much you can actually do. All right, let's go ahead and cover the first one. And the first one is the Henry Repeater, a.k.a. the Litchfield repeater and that's what rockstar is calling it this time as you see a screenshot here and it gives us a little description about the repeater but this was probably the most used gun that i ever had and killed so many people on red dead redemption one so it's coming back as the most reliable weapon and it had a lot of ammo it also shot very fast and it had a lot of firepower i'm excited about the litchfield repeater or the henry repeater coming back into the game the Bolt Action Springfield Rifle is making a comeback as well, and this was a fan favorite for a lot of people, and the animation looks amazing from what we see from Rockstar. So this is probably going to be the number one gun for me that I think that I'm really going to enjoy in Red Dead Redemption 2. One weapon that Rockstar is really proud of is the Repeater Carbine, and we've seen a lot of screenshots from this gun, and also they have given us a clip of this gun. Let's not talk about it anymore. Let's go ahead and see that clip. The Carcano Rifle. It's back. It's the weapon that had the funny looking scope that everybody ended up loving by the end of the game because it really saved your butt a lot of times and it really got the job done when it comes to far away kills. The Carcano Rifle is back and I can't wait to see what it can actually do and all the different scopes that we're going to be able to put on this weapon because it really is one of the best weapons on the game once you got into Red Dead Redemption 1 and you got to believe it's just going to be that good in Red Dead Redemption 2. All right, guys, one of the most fun rifles from RDR1 is coming to RDR2, and that's the Rolling Block Rifle. This rifle is one of the few that had a scope in Red Dead Redemption 1, and I'm excited that it's coming back to Red Dead Redemption 2. I have to believe it'll be one of the ones that we unlock really quickly. It'll be more probably the first one sniper rifle that we'll unlock from Red Dead Redemption 1 that we're seeing here. But uh, yeah, I'm excited about it coming back, and uh, let's take a look at some of the screenshots. All right, guys, the next one we're going to talk about is the Evans Repeater. It is a lot like the Henry Repeater, and it's going to be a staple in your gun collection. This one is a fast action gun, and it's also going to be one of those medium range guns that you're going to use on a daily basis. Before we get off of that topic, let's also talk about the Lancaster rifle that's coming back to the game, which I'm excited about as well. The Lancaster rifle is a unique looking rifle. I want to see how high powered these rifles are in action. That's all from the Evans Repeater to the Henry Henry Repeater and then the Lancaster Rifle. How high powered are these going to be in the game of Red Dead Redemption 2? All right, guys, the last section we're going to cover is the shotgun section of the weapons, and we have quite a few to pick from. We have the double barrel shotgun, which Rockstar really put out early for us to see, and there's been a lot of screenshots of that, so we have a ton from there. We have the pump action shotgun, which we saw a new gameplay come out really recently, and that looks amazing. The animation looks tremendous. And we have the sawed-off shotgun, which is going to be double-wielded with other revolvers. And we don't know if that's just a customization of the double barrel shotgun or it's its own entity. And then the semi-auto shotgun, which was my favorite shotgun from Red Dead Redemption 1, that really got off some shots really, really quickly. We see that coming back into the game as well. 
and that's going to conclude all the weapons that we know of so far i've probably skipped some and seen some in other screenshots and just not realized that that's a different type of gun or that that's a different gun altogether but thank you guys for coming along with this video if you haven't liked this video please leave a like also leave a comment to what you think about the weapons so far that we see in the game and also Guys, please, if you would, subscribe to this channel because we're going to see a lot more stuff when it comes to Red Dead Redemption 2. You're going to get funny moments. You're going to get everything from info to DLC stuff. Everything you need to know about Red Dead Redemption 2 is going to happen on this channel. So go ahead and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. I love your faces. Peace out.